Sorry, now we're recording. All right, here we are inside the rubber chicken, and uh, we're going to be interviewing soon one of my good friends, Jay, who is the owner and the well, he's the owner of the store. Hey, how you doing? Good. What's up, guys? What's up? How are you doing today? Fantastic. Welcome to Rubber Chicken Cups. So, uh, how long has this uh, place been here? We've been in this location for the past 10 years. We've been in this plaza for the past 20 years, and we've been around for the past 30 years. Yeah, there's a lot of elder uh, geek energy around here, and uh, he's been around for uh, a long time, so that's good. You bet. So, uh, Chuckles is a big fan of you. He's been around for a long time. That's why I asked him to uh, do this interview also. So, uh, show us around and tell us uh, what's going on here. Uh I modeled my, my shop. We started back in 1990. My dad opened the store uh, in Milford, Massachusetts. And he always wanted to, he retired from being a uh, Ashland police officer and always said he wanted to open up a sci-fi store because he was a huge fan of sci-fi. Uh, but he wanted to figure out a way to get people to, uh, to come in, you know, on a regular basis. And it was almost instantaneous. We were like, well, let's make a comic book shop and then you can have all the sci-fi you want in there. So, boom, he said, let's do it. So I basically model my store after the way my dad's store looked originally. Uh, and people who come in that haven't been since the Milford days come in and be like, wow, this really does remind me of your dad's shop. Because uh, uh, when he retired from there back in 1999, I started here in Bellingham uh, with my brother Steve. And then later on, uh, my partner Joe came on board. And so my shop is, is, is your basic comic shop. You know, I have a beautiful wall of, of uh, awesome books from original uh, vintage stuff to first printings to um, first appearances, death ofs, all the, all, my wall is what my pride of the store really is. Chuckle, stop drooling. Uh, you can't tell, can you? <laughs> yeah, no, so I know you're drooling. Stuff. Uh, but I, I also love getting into toys too, so we got just a ridiculous amount of, of old and new toys from, you know, Batman to Superman to X-Men. Uh, we get into some manga stuff, you know, with, with um, like My Hero Academia and uh, Dragon Ball and that kind of thing. Uh, the new Cyberpunk is, is out and that's gonna, well, the, the video games should be out soon and people are really waiting for that one. Um, I've got back issue bins just chock full of comics. <laughs> Yeah, no, keep, just, keep moving, clown. <laughs> just, you know, everything. If you're looking for it, we got it in here. Uh, toys, more. I've got so much stuff, it's piling up back here. So Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's very, uh, re you have a retro store, yeah. a retro comic store, it's, which is, it's, 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 it's good. It's uh, cluttered meat. <laughs> cluttered meat, yeah. And then you know, up on the stage, we got every Wednesday, there's brand new comics here. So we got the brand new books. Some awesome stuff that's been coming out lately. Uh, Phantom Star Killer. One of the best books that came out last week. Um, and basically, you know, it's just, you, I like to keep it as simple as possible. You know, just a straight up comic book shop. So we sell toys. We talk geek. We talk nerd. We talk fun. And, you know, people just come down and, and they just, you know, they need a break. And so they come down and they get to collect still. Oh, yeah. Uh, one of the interesting things about this comic book store is they actually had a wedding here on Free Comic Book we Day. Did. A long time ago. Yep. That was kind of interesting. Yep. Uh, so what are you doing for the COVID thing? How is things different from normal? Well, I mean, when it hit, we had to shut down for three months. So during that three months, I still came to work every single day and I did mail order um, from the shop. And then when they started to loosen up restrictions, we started doing um, curbside. And then when they finally let us reopen again, um, basically, you know, it's just, it's, it's be courteous to each other, you know, it's be respectful and, you know, your basic rules, you know, wear a mask, try and keep your social distance and, uh, and don't be a jerk. <laughs> you know, that's like one of the main ones. Don't be a jerk and, and yeah. Take, yeah, care chuckles. Of, take care of everyone else, <laughs> you know? So we were lucky enough that when we reopened, um, you know, people really got back into collecting comics like crazy. Uh, we're escapist entertainment. And while people don't want to go to the movies or can't go to the movies, uh, shows, I mean, sporting events, it's like, what do we do? Well, let's buy comics and read more comics. That's what it feels like it's been since we reopened. So since the uh, up thing of comic book movies and series and stuff like that, is, do you see an increase in comics oh, yeah. um, from these uh, media 
multi giants. Sure. Now you got to remember, back in the early 2000s, uh, when it when it all started, it started very quietly uh, in the late 90s with Blade, but then in, in the early 2000s with X Men and Spider Man. I mean, they they ex absolutely exploded. Now when that happened. Uh, the stores were just jam-packed with people because everyone's like, we didn't even know comic shops still were around. And it's true, so many people didn't know it was a thing anymore. But nowadays, if you don't get at least three blockbuster, uh, you know, comic-related movies a year, you'd be shocked. So it's not the same as it used to be, where people come pouring in like, oh, I need to know everything about this Ant-Man fellow. You know, they still, they still helps. But now we expect all these blockbusters to come out without you know any reason why uh, we'd even have to go to a comic shop, which which uh, is is good in both ways. Do you think it's oversaturated? Not the uh... at all. I say oh, I say bring that. as many more comic related movies as you possibly can. I mean the the amount of good movies to bad movies. It, this is so much more than the few bad movies that come out. And you got to remember, like back in the '90s, early '90s, when we get these horrible. Oh, the Fantastic Four, 1996. Now, now they still hold a place in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you could see because they had no budget. So you got the Fantastic Four. You had Nick Fury with Hasselhoff. You had um, oh, Captain America. Captain that was America. another one. You was, had yeah. The Punisher with Dolph yeah. Lundgren. I you mean, don't talk about that. Like I said, Howard the Duck was actually the first uh, comic book movie ever. That was done. I love Howard the Duck. I know. I like it this day, and it's <laughs> mainly because of uh, uh, what's her name, Leah, uh, Leah Thompson. <laughs> Okay, uh, Chuckles, you got any uh, questions? Ooh, I see something shiny. Yeah, well, I have to ask this. I've been coming to your store for a long time uh, since we met back in Framingham. Yep. And you had your set up, and I said, I'd love to come down for your free convict day, and you said, come down. <laughs> and I've been coming ever since. Of course, this year, the plague hit, and you can't do it. I was sad. But I've always wanted to know, what is your favorite comic book character? I have a couple. Um, <laughs> see, growing up, uh, what got me into comics? I, I would always I would always read like like X Men or or Avengers, and they were okay to me. Spider Man was okay, but it wasn't until my dad brought me into Bop City Comics in Framingham back around eighty four eighty five that I picked up my first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Awesome! And that I remember reading it, just being like, "This is insane! I, I can't believe that there's a grim, gritty, you know, like comic book about turtles." Because you know you think it's a joke at first, but it wasn't. This was, you know, good, serious, fun, sci-fi, you know, craziness. And that was the start of it all for the Turtles. Uh, so the Turtles, first and foremost, my, my favorite characters of all. But then in the 90s when I got back into it, um, Lobo, Evil Ernie, that's what well, I was like, wait a minute, they can be this Deadpool crazy. Yeah. And, and Lobo and Evil Ernie were just, just, you know, the tip of the iceberg, so I just kept diving in. And as time went on, uh, Invincible. Invincible is my absolute favorite thing to read. I cannot wait to see what they do with the cartoon. It looks absolutely amazing. So those would be my top favorites right there. Great. Yeah. All right. Uh, so can we uh, go back over here and check this out over yeah. here? Because we haven't seen the whole story yet. This, this, so I, this, this is my... It's just more and more back issues and back issues. I, like to, I pride myself on just having enough stuff so that when you walk in you can be like i can't believe you have this much you know stock and and packed in such you know a little i mean we got a decent space but there's just so much again back issues we got sci-fi we've got horror we've got star trek we've got star wars you know just a little bit of everything in here and again so this is the the massive back issue walls you know from from dc to marvel to image i think i lost the clown <laughs> And we got, That's cool. you know, vintage, vintage toys, to new toys, to statues, pop figures, everything that you could ever want. So what makes you different from other comic book stores? I don't know what really makes me different. Or unique. How about that? Let's say that. Again, I guess it just comes down to you got to love what you do. I love what I do. I love my customers. They've all become good friends over the years. Um, it's, it's just the outlook you have when you're, when you're running a business. If you're lucky enough to do something that you love and you get to do it and actually make money doing it, then you won all day long. And that's why I consider this to be a unique store because for the past 30 years, we've been treating it like, you know, a family. Okay, um, so what are some of the new projects that you have in store for next year? All right, well, next year, 
hopefully, you know, fingers crossed we get past COVID and we can start doing things again. We've got obviously free comic book day. That's the first Saturday in, uh, oh, in May. Yeah. Miss that. Always, always a fantastic day. Again, that's that's where uh, we started having chuckles down and he was down every single year from the first year. Um, we would have writers, we'd have you know special guests uh, what we're actually working on right now with our good buddy uh, Mark McCrina is a new comic book called Werewolf with a Chainsaw. So Ooh. we're going to start a... Yeah. <laughs> Chuckles eyes just lit up like, it's, woo! It's awesome. Mark is a fantastic writer and artist. Um, we're going to be starting a Kickstarter for that uh, within the month and then hopefully get it out by either late December or early January. Um, and we're also working on getting Rubber Chicken Comics Presents number two out. Number one came out a few years ago, and then we hit a few snags. But number two is going to be out within the next year, so that's a definite as well. Um, sales. We haven't been able to do sales because it's a, it's a small shop. People get packed in here, and we don't want to do that. We want to keep everything safe for everyone around here. But next year, when we're allowed to do sales, we're going to do the most insane sales and give so much back to the people. Uh, actually, one of the things that's happening this week, uh, as to giving back to the people, is Spawn number 311 is coming out, in which McFarlane did a Chadwick Bosman uh, tribute cover. And so I ordered a ridiculous amount of those, and, I'm, and all proceeds are going to um, a cancer foundation over Milford at the, uh, the Brigham and Women's uh, cancer center over there. That is awesome. And it's great that you're giving back to, to the community. That is what the Geek Coin is all about also. And it's just great to see you doing these things and these uh, new awesome stuff that you actually do. We always try to do at least a couple of things a year. We always do, you know, toys for toys for kids and teens uh, come Christmas time. Uh, we always try and do at least two other um, you know, you know, it's charities, two big charities that we can give to uh, each year. Uh, and, you know, and as the years go on, we just want to keep as much as we possibly can, you know. And, and that's what exactly what you said, giving back to the community. That's what it's all about. That's awesome. So is there anything else? Uh, what are your store hours here? Uh, we are open seven days a week, uh, Monday and Tuesday, 12 till 6. Wednesday, which is New Comic Book Day, we're open 12, I'm sorry, 9 a.m. till 8 p.m. Uh, Thursday and Friday, 12 till 6. Uh, Saturday, we are open 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. And Sunday, we are open 12 till 5 uh, to just fill your needs of comic goodness whenever you want. And uh, where are you located? We are at 15 North Main Street in Bellingham, Massachusetts. We are located behind Dairy Queen right next to the subway. Okay, and uh, Chuckles, how, how long have you been coming here? Oh, Pretty long oh, time. Uh, yeah, uh, you can go back in the frame. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, yours, you just, like, hit on me, like, oh, I had to get comics. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, Terminator <laughs> and Transformers. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I did see the Grimlock figure over there, and I was just like, oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> How long have you been coming here? Almost a little over five years, definitely. Five, five years? Oh, I've been I think the, more than yeah, that, to be honest more. with you. I, I honestly don't remember having a free comic day without you being here, to be honest with you. <laughs> Um, so, um, have your issues been, um, backed up lately? I heard that a lot of comic book stores are having problem getting brand new issues in. No, no, actually, no. The, really? Uh, everything's coming in perfectly fine. Uh, the only thing that's changed is DC Comics broke away from our distributor, Diamond uh, Comics, and they started going through, uh, other various, Oh, uh, I think that's what I heard. Distribution. But no, nothing, I mean, it, the flow of comics never stopped. Just like on Dune, you know, the, place, the, the spices must flow. <laughs> the spices uh, must flow. But no, yeah, we still get everything on a regular basis. Every Wednesday, there's brand new comics. And it's Wednesday is the day, you know. People are just in from, again, when we open at 9 a.m. till 8 o'clock at night. And it's, it's just the one day of the week when you know that you're going to get a whole wall of brand new comic goodness. Uh, so what is one of your favorite sci-fi shows? Are you into sci-fi like your father? Of course. Uh, easily, The Mandalorian was so good. I cannot uh, wait. Go. It's starting up again on Friday, so that's fantastic. I love, you know, Serenity, Firefly. Um, oh, like screwing reference as well. Well, you know, so I like basically anything that's out there. We were talking about, we had just gone down, uh, we had just gone down to, uh, gone down to, and seen uh, Utopia. That's an insane sci fi uh, thing that, that really parallels what's going on in the world today. Um, what else have we watched? Just just tons of good stuff. 
Um, oh, because it's Halloween right now. I've been watching nothing but, you know, Halloween movies type stuff. And we just watched uh, Vampires vs. the Bronx. And that was awesome. <laughs> I definitely say check that one out. <laughs> so what is one of your f uh, top three favorite Halloween movies well, or comics? So... Comics are tough uh, because, again, I, well, it's easy. I like I like all the Evil Ernie stuff. That's fantastic. Uh, the adaptations that they did for like there was uh, Freddy versus Jason versus Ash. That's awesome if you ever get a chance to read that. Uh, but movies, you know, it's it's the easy ones for me. You know, Halloween, the original, John Carpenter's one of the best Halloween movies out there. I agree. Um, you got you got Friday the Thirteenth Part Three because that's where he gets his uh, his mask for the first time, and everything's in three D. So like they're they're playing with yo yo <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. or when they poke it through the guy's head and the eye comes out. And I love that. Uh, and of course, you know, I mean, any old cool old school slasher movie, those yeah. are just awesome. And Beetlejuice apparently too, oh, obviously. <laughs> Gonna look like Beetlejuice a little bit. Any other questions you got for him, Chuckles? No, just thank you very much. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. And thanks for supporting our nerd needs here. Of course. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so if you guys want to come down to a uh, unique old school feeling of store, uh, come down to Rubber Chicken and you'll get that like 80s feel to it. Um, like retro comic book stores. Uh, and he's very awesome. Nice guy to come. Thank you so, so much. So come down. Anything else you want to say before... Uh, we close this uh, interview no, up. I, just, I appreciate you guys coming down. You know, the more people that know about the shop, the better. This is fantastic. Yeah, and we hopefully you, yeah, because uh, support your local geek communities, or your local stores, gaming, comics, whatever, because they need you just right now. Because this is a tough time for all of them. And your artists, all your. Oh, uh, uh, yep, your local artists, artists too. Writers. Yep, and it's writers and what else, storytellers and everybody like that. So support them too. And uh, this is Grimlock Stonehammer. So the Geek Clan saying hello, goodbye. And also, who are you? <laughs> Rock and roll, baby. Rock and roll, okay. He's not gonna say his name all right. And Chuckles oh, the Cloud. Jay. <laughs> and Jay. Sorry. Yeah, oh by the way, where's Simon Bob? Uh, couldn't make it today. Oh, I couldn't make it today, He's okay. He's supposed to be here today. And yeah, oh wow, we made a clerk, so it was awesome. So thank you for letting us film this awesome store. Uh, we will be on YouTube, and when I do, I'll send you the link, okay? Thanks so much, guys. Appreciate All right, guys. Enjoy your day, guys. This is Grimlock Stonehammer signing out.